I'm Madeline Williams. I'm majoring in international relations and I studied abroad in Santiago de Chile at Universidad de los Bañas. What drew you to your house institution in Sydney? That was, it was super random actually. I was really, I had my heart set on Spain and going to Europe. And then Alexandra actually was like, I recommend this institution so much more. Like, you think you'll have a great time. We don't know very much about this institution in Spain. Like, I think it would just be better for you to go to Chile. And I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll go. Like, I was super like loosey goosey about it. I was like, I'll go wherever you send me. What is your favorite memory? Or one of your favorite memories from your time abroad? I have way too many favorite memories to choose, but what, like I definitely loved all of my traveling experiences. Don't tell my mom, but I took off like 12 days in the middle of the semester. I told her I had a break, but I didn't have a break. Um, but I got to st I got to travel around. Um, I went to Uruguay, Argentina, and Brazil, and it was I went to like the Iguazu Falls, Buenos Aires, Montevideo. It was so cool. It was my favorite. Can you share an interesting fact about your host city or your institution? Ooh, an interesting fact. Okay, so they're like big holiday, like at the like throughout the year that's not like religious is um, their day of independence. If I remember correctly, it's on the 18th of September, but it's just like a huge party, like the entire like week is just like a huge party. And everyone like it's basically like their version of spring break. Everyone just goes to the beach and like has super fun, you know. What are the three best things about the houses that you can say? Um, I loved the nightlife. I loved like being connected because um, I had never really experienced like big city living before and then all of a sudden I was like in the capital of Chile so it was really cool just like there's always something going on, always something to do, people to see. I really liked the access I had to be able to travel because Chile is you know like really long and skinny so they've got everything, they've got mountains, beaches, desert, everything. I, I mean I saw it all and it was super cool. Um, and like the institution specifically, they were really good about once you got there, like having a network of other exchange students and like buddies that actually attended the university to kind of like help you out and guide you and, you know, get you socialized and all that. Please describe the differences, uh, similarities between the academic system at the course institution and the Texas State University. Yeah, so that was really interesting because I was taking all classes for exchange students specifically. Um, and so like they were a much lower caliber, I would say, than the rest of the classes at that institution. All the classes were in English too, which was like at the institution they're normally in Spanish, but that meant that the professors, they were kind of like, yeah, we know you're exchange students, like you don't care, we don't care, like, it was very lax, it was a lax environment, but it was nice. Please describe the course of registration process at all institutions, any guidance and course selection process you might see? Um, yeah, they were pretty helpful. They just sent us like a list of um, all this. They were called specially designed courses, the ones for exchange students. I just like chose from a list which ones I wanted, registered for them online when it opened up. And did they allow to take regular classes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, and they definitely encourage you to take regular classes, but I, I knew my Spanish wasn't at a good enough level to take classes in Spanish. So the regular classes would be only in, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Any advice regarding housing options at Pasadena University? Yeah, uh, definitely look into your housing options more than I did. The university is really not, that's the one thing that they're really not helpful with at all. I know a lot of people who ended up really liking their housing options. They went and they like stayed for like a week in a hostel while they like checked out different apartments and then they signed. But I like looked online and then I signed before I came, which like I was telling you earlier, it is nice in a way because like I knew where I was going right away. You know, my parents weren't worried about me like not having a place to live and just living out of a suitcase in a hostel. But on the other hand, I was like overpaying so much for such a bad apartment. It was not a nice apartment at all. And I was paying so much more than all my friends who had all these like super cool amenities and a better network. Like they were like closer to their people in their apartment and stuff like that. So what did the average price for housing? Uh, probably like 450 to 500, I would say, dollars. And then I was paying like 650. <laughs> per semester? N for a month, per month, yeah. Would you return that? Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would love to. I would, like I was telling you, I wish I would have stayed the year. Would you return to study or just for traveling? Ooh, I might just return to travel. Like if I if I was to study abroad again, I'd probably choose somewhere else just to like experience. But there was a lot of stuff traveling wise that I didn't get to do while I was down there. Like I didn't like all my friends got like went to the Patagonia, which I didn't do because I just didn't have time. I would love to go to the Easter Island. I would love to like go more around South America in general. So yeah, but I'm not sure if I'd study there again, just because I'd want to experience other things. So would you recommend to spend only one semester there or the full academic year? 
Uh, I guess it just depends on the person. I wish I would have stayed the year, but I definitely had friends who were like, yeah, I had a great time, but I'm kind of ready to go home. So it just depends on like how homesick you get or you know, if you like want to change it up after a certain amount of time. But yeah, I wish I would have stayed the year, but some people I'm sure a semester would fit perfectly. And the exchange student that you took the classes uh, together with, were they mostly for the full academic year? Uh, oh, the other exchange students? Yes. Yeah, they were. I only had one friend who ended up staying a year. Um, I think there were a few other people that stayed for a year, but out of my group of friends, we were all just there for the semester. Would you encourage other students to participate in the exchange program to this institution? Absolutely. Actually, the other night I was at a party and this girl was telling me she wanted to study abroad, and I like sent her the information about. Adolfo Bañez and Santiago because I was like, they, like, whatever they don't help you with, I can help you out with and you'll have a great time. Can you tell us a bit, a little bit about the difference in Spanish, between Spanish language and Chilean language? Yeah, I mean, it's the same language, like, it's technically Spanish, but they even say in Chile, they're like, we don't speak Spanish, we speak Chilean. It's like their slang is completely different, words I'd never heard before. Um, it's super fast, really, really, really fast paced um, and really choppy, like, I don't know, instead of saying like gracias, they're like gracias. And it's just like super fast all the time. And like, usually if you're like a foreigner, they'll kind of slow down for you and then they'll forget and then they pick it back right back up and you're like, I need you to slow down. Like I cannot understand a word you're saying. So yeah, it's just definitely fast, choppy, interesting slang. Their slang is very interesting. For well, the exchange program, uh, the student need to speak Spanish in order to go to Chile? I would say having a basic is really helpful because like if you're like in a restaurant or you know buying whatever you know you need you definitely need to speak Spanish to be able to communicate with the people and I mean you could get by with only English like at the university for sure and you know if like you have a little group of friends where you only speak English like that's fine but you're definitely gonna want to at least know like the basic words like numbers thank you can I get this like stuff like that if you could choose a song that best captures your experience abroad, which would it be? Um, <laughs> I was, I actually, I made like a little montage video of like little videos I had took while I was abroad and I used this song called La Vida by Jose Anlag, which is, it's just like a cute little song. It's a Spanish song, but it's like, you know, like a cute little ukulele song about just like enjoying life and like taking time to, you know, kind of sit back and smell the roses. So that's probably it. Yeah.